Cooking is all about having fun and trying new things. We made a smoked jalapeno pepper jelly. Add a little orange pill in there. I'm telling you right now, it came out fantastic. If you guys want to see how we make this, here we go. We got the smoking pecan pellets in there. Uh, we're rocking the uh, Weber Searwood XL today. Looking about 225 degrees. Simply enough, we have eight jalapeno peppers and we're gonna smoke these for a few hours until they get nice, charred, smoky. I got some habaneros as well. All righty, our jalapenos are rocking and rolling. They are done. On the smoker for about an hour at 225. This is one of the recipes where I truly feel like it's probably not advantageous to start your smoker up just to do this recipe, although you can do whatever you want to. It's more of the, like the idea of like when you got it going, what else can you make? The holidays are coming up and it's just a great way to utilize what you already have along with being creative and all that stuff. So simply enough, we're gonna just do uh, some peppers. Got a bell pepper, orange and a red. Really quickly, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do one jalapeno. Just cut the tips off, cut them in half. How hot you want it depends on what you keep in it. Now the heat is in the, the white stuff, not the seeds. But if you wanna keep that in there, you definitely can. Since we have the addition of the habaneros, I'm gonna go on the milder side with the jalapenos and try to take all that out. So it should look something like that. All the peppers are done. One quick go around and these go into the processor as well. Peppers are in, simply pulse them. And you can make this as chunky as you want to. To be honest with you, during this whole process, I honestly forgot to wear gloves, especially dealing with like the smoked jalapenos and the habaneros. We're gonna be straining this. So that's why I got gloves on so you don't think I'm crazy. I like a little chunky, so I'm gonna leave mine just a little bit chunky, plus we're able to cook some of it out anyway. So let me show you what we're working with. Just like that. What you're trying to do now is just basically strain it through a cheesecloth because there is so much moisture in these peppers that it kind of is like the idea of baking where baking is more of a science. Uh, you gotta wanna get as much moisture out as possible so your pectin sets up. For your jelly. See that? That's what we're talking about right there. Alrighty, and the pot it goes. And this, if you're interested, this recipe will be on pelletsandpits.com. Apple cider vinegar, sugar. The juice of one lime. We're gonna peel and only use the peel about a half of a navel orange. I love the addition of the citrus. Just adds that little extra oomph that you traditionally don't get. Kind of think of a orange marmalade with spicy peppers. Take a quarter of the orange and the juice goes in. Teaspoon of salt. Simply enough, we're gonna give this a mix and cook it for about 10 minutes on a low boil. Roughly 10 minutes later, we've got the liquid uh, pectin. We're gonna slowly add that in there. Make sure it distributes evenly. The smells and tastes are just absolutely spot on spot on the addition of that smoked jalapeno versus just raw jalapeno just up those flavors just a little bit the orange peel 
I'm telling you, it goes a long ways. Yeah, I think this is going to be a winner. <laughs> it is really good. Holidays are right around the corner, which really what inspired it. Um, I know a lot of people are going to have their smokers out or getting smokers. So it's just one of those things where you can just throw the jalapenos on there. You can make this very quickly. Uh, you don't even have to start your smoker up. You know, you can have a pork butt on there and like, hey, I got all this extra space. What do I do with it? This is a perfect recipe for that. Five minutes later, it should look something like that. Now we got the uh, little mason jars here. Um, obviously, whether you want to can it or store it, however you want to. This is just the refrigerated style. So we're not going to be boiling them or anything like that. We're going to be going through them quite a bit. So some recipes that we have coming up are going to use these. Can't wait for that. We're thinking about a slab of ribs. Maybe some chicken. So we're just going to fill these up right to the bottom of that little lip something like that and then one trick is turn upside down for about 30 minutes and just kind of let those peppers set up to where they're not fall all the way to the bottom all right today's the next day the smoked jalapeno pepper jelly or hot pepper jelly spoiler alert <laughs> we made three full jars it's amazing we have a quarter and two jars left. We have really put a pound into it. <laughs> smoke cream cheese, because obviously cream cheese and the hot pepper jelly, but let's keep it in the smoke theme. So I'm going to score it. You don't have to. All right, we're going to do some of that. Cue that for a little sprinkling on top. Alrighty, on the Weber it goes at 180 degrees. We're gonna use that smoke mode that it has. Leave it on there for a roughly hour and a half. Depends on how much smoke you want. An hour and a half later, about 180 degrees on the smoke mode. Your smoke cream cheese will look something like that. Obviously, if you don't have smoke mode, 225 will work. Alrighty, it might seem like a long process, but honestly, you can do one or the other, but to combine them, I'm super excited. I mentioned before that this recipe will be on pellets and pits, guaranteed by the time you check this out in this video post. Smoke cream cheese, you can do it a thousand different ways, serve it a thousand different ways, but I'm telling you, right now, the orange peel, you don't get it in every bite, so you're not accustomed to it but when you get that orange peel in there it pops the smoke of the jalapenos pops i 110 percent believe in this somebody's going to get it for christmas <laughs> period we have a family reunion coming up guaranteed somebody down there is going to get we're going to make this for them it's just all around fantastic so and we did not pressure can this it ain't gonna last long enough I can't wait to make some ribs with it. Yep, grilled chicken. Really quick before I dive in, we're talking about consistency. Consistency. Remember I mentioned when I was putting my peppers in the food processor, I don't like them too chopped. I like to get a little pepper in there. It's just a little mix. It's a texture flavor profile that I enjoy. So if you wanna go small on that, you can. But ultimately how you serve it is up to you. I don't really know how to do this without. <laughs> Getting excited, but cheers to you guys for the holidays or any time of the year, because I'm telling you, you're going to be making it. <laughs> mm. Smoking the cream tree. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking the cream cheese on point. It does not overpower it. It just changes the flavor. And I'll tell you what I like about it. It takes the cold cream cheese block and changes the texture to more of a creaminess. And the cold doesn't zap away all the flavors inside. This is, this is 10 out of 10. Here, make me one real quick. It's almost like a nighttime dessert. Like, I mean, I'm, you're thinking, oh, what, how can I ever eat this much? 
We talked about the ribs. We talked about nighttime snacking. Perfect to give away. If you don't want to make all, you can just make it and then give a, like a jar away so you don't feel guilty. God, that is so good. The smoked cream cheese is key. Mm -hmm. Maybe because mm -hmm. that barbecue seasoning on there well, a little. Golly, oh, mm -hmm. That is. Mm -hmm. That's good. No, I got I to gotta be good. honest. You might be making that at every family get together from now on. <laughs> Once your aunts try some of that. I have always tried to be open and honest with you guys. Sometimes I rate my food at six, seven, ten, four. This to me is a ten out of ten. This, this is a twelve out of ten. Let's this just be honest. This is legit. So while you pig out, mm. you think there'll be any left? There might not be any left today. You were worried about how it waste. Yeah, this block of cream cheese <laughs> isn't mm. going to survive the night. <laughs> mm. That that needs to be in your that people need to go to the website and print out that recipe. You need Pelletsandpits.com. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pile the notification button. Show it with your friends. I promise you. 10 out of 10. <laughs>